top story at six with temperatures inching toward the triple digits and with the coming 4th of July holiday weekend, this will be one of the most popular destinations in the area over the next few days. This is video of the beach at Tybee Island from last year. There is the potential for the crowds to be even larger this year. So with that in mind, Tybee City leaders have taken some steps to get prepared. They say safety is top of mind as they get ready to welcome the crowds. So WSAB's Daisy Kershaw spoke with Mayor Shirley Sessions to find out what to expect if you plan to hit the beach over the holiday weekend. Everyone here is ready to soak up some sun. It's safety that's top of mind for Tybee City officials. This weekend we are anticipating another large successful July 4th. Successful and safe. That's the goal for Tybee City leaders as they prepare for another big 4th of July weekend on the island. What we are going to do is be prepared for the potential of more people on Tybee than we would originally anticipate. To do this, the city is putting $180,000 in additional funds towards bringing in extra law enforcement, something Tybee Mayor Shirley Sessions says is essential for keeping beachgoers safe this weekend. We plan to have uh, additional law enforcement, over 100 law enforcement and fire personnel and medical personnel will be on the island throughout the weekend. One of the main concerns ahead of the holiday is the potential for large unpermitted events, something local leaders are keeping a close eye on. We are also aware that there may be an unpermitted pop-up event that is being posted on social media, unfortunately, we can't control that. But Mayor Sessions says with the additional safety measures in place, the island is well prepared for a weekend of fun. We're going to be prepared. Our fire department is on board. Our um, lifeguards are out there. Our code enforcement. Uh, all of our Tybee police officers and uh, are on board. So we really, really, really expect to have um, uh, everything in place for safety. Even with the safety concerns, businesses are also looking forward to seeing folks flock to the island for some sun, sand, and of course, shopping. We have wonderful artists. We have unique gifts. We have uh, very, very competitive pricing, and it's just fun to shop at the beach. So I hope that people will take advantage of our many retail stores as well as our great restaurants. Mayor Sessions says not to bring your dogs to the beach if you're here for the day. She wants to remind everyone dogs are not allowed on the beaches here, and if they are left in the car, Tybee law enforcement will be forced to break into the vehicle to make sure the dog stays safe. Reporting live on Tybee Island, Daisy Kershaw, WSAB News 3, on your side. Daisy, thank you.